It's very exciting that the pressure is mounting on Netanyahu to come to a deal around the hostages with this general strike where thousands and thousands of people are not only lining the street but are shutting down the airports, schools, businesses. And this is putting a new level of pressure on Netanyahu after the death of six hostages that many are blaming on Netanyahu because if a deal had been reached, those hostages would be alive today and would have been part of the exchange. But what is very sad about this general strike is that it's all about the hostages. There's really almost no mention about the incredible suffering of the Palestinian people in Gaza, about the displacement of millions of people, the level of hunger, the killing, the maiming, the polio. None of this is being discussed as part of the reason for a general strike. Wouldn't it be nice if instead of showing the racism of the Israeli people that they don't care about the lives of Palestinians, they use this general strike to say, get our hostages home and stop the barbaric attacks on the Palestinian people. There's another issue that's important to bring up because part of this pressure on Netanyahu should be coming from the Biden administration. Wouldn't it be nice if President Biden came out and said, in solidarity with the hostage family, we have decided that we're putting an embargo on weapons, no more weapons to Israel until they reach a deal with Hamas for a ceasefire. Well, we don't hear anything like that coming from the White House. So maybe it's time for us in the United States to take a page from the Israeli trade unions and say, isn't it time for a general strike in the United States?